everybody, welcome again to another episode of Fish Keeping Jamaica. Welcome to my channel. Okay, so today I'll be talking about my life bearers. Yes, a few months ago, if not a year, I said that I will not be doing any more life bearers, right? That is true. I plan not to do any more life bearers, but circumstances, I just decided that I am just going to venture in it, but venture in it in a different way. Okay, so today I talk about some of my life bearers. And I start off with my Lyle Tail, Lyle Tail, L-Y-R-E-T-A-I-L. -E okay, the Lyle Tail, Lyle Tail, uh, Molly, uh, the tail is really looking cute. It shapes like a harp, right? Now, uh, this could be referred to as a hybrid as it is a cross between different species of um, life bears right including uh, mullets of course right okay so um i have a pair of these fish and uh the female is about to give birth so i extracted the male so as to get you to see the the tail of the male but the female i'll try my very best to use the underwater camera so as to um get that uh fish actually swimming um in its in, in its space Right, because it's, I think it's probably near the time in which it should actually give birth. I just decided to not extract that from the pond. Okay, there are a few tricks in trade in actually breeding and keeping uh, live bearers. Uh, one thing to note is that you have several different types of live bearers, right? Uh, you have copy, molly, sword tail, uh, you know, and, and, and some other fish that, you know, like they can actually cross breed, right? So, because, uh, oh, and, and for the sword tail, you have different types of sword tail. Um, I have presently about three different types. I have the green, uh, I don't remember the official name, but the green one, the red one, and the one that look a little bit orangish, orangish, should I say, All right? So, um, what I'm trying to do now is to actually group them according to their color. It's a little bit difficult separating the green uh, sword tail from the rest of the sword tail, um but i was able to separate the um the the the, the, the koi suit tail from the rest because you know it looks outstanding in the sense, in the sense that it actually the colors you just you, you can tell them uh different from the others the rest i probably might have to do that in terms now what i'm trying to do why i'm trying to do that is to facilitate uh the, the, the a, a, a lineage of these fish preventing them from actually crossbreeding with each other so uh, my koi so tails and my coffees are all in one container while my other so tails are in another container right presently my lyle tail uh, mollies are uh, what do I call it mixed with my what do I call it the, the so tail and as soon as the female give birth and those fries come to juvenile, I'll be finding a container for that one also. And stay tuned during the summer, you will see a setup of different aquariums as I go along, one aquarium at a time, even if it takes me a year or a couple months well to set up one aquarium, but I'll be setting up aquarium from scratch. Um, different processes, different aquarium, different fish, different setup, aquascape, all that, you will see that in throughout the summer starting sometime in june i'm not exactly sure of the date as yet okay so uh my light bears those are on track i am i don't intend to purchase any new light bear light bearing fish i have molly so tail guppy here and i have different types of so tail in which i'm going to be actually you know using um so as to increase my population as i go along we uh this this venture uh, my primary objective is to practically get enough of my the live bearers to actually be housed in an aquarium by itself, a planted aquarium by itself, and these live bearers should be colorful. Um, so therefore, I'll be having an aquarium with all the guppies in which I have. I'll be having an aquarium with all the sword tails um, in different types. For example, the green sword tail, the red sword tail, the koi sword tail. All three will have three different aquariums for that. So that's why I am actually on the, you know, the, the, the thrust in actually breeding uh, these sword tail separately. 
and one of the ways in which I go about doing that is to practically separate them by color, by type, in different spaces so that they don't cross breed and I got and, and I have what I call pure breed um, along that line. Now my guppies, I wanted to have like for example all the the, 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 the guppies with the purple tail in um you know in one aquarium those with the red tail those with the green tail but it's a little bit difficult doing that so i might just have assorted guppies in one aquarium and see where that goes from there now i have actually um renovated my um my 60 gallon my 60 gallon have been renovated i have removed the uh breeding box from the the the, 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 the 60 gallon inch i have i have actually um dividing the the, the the aquarium in half making each side 30 gallon uh whenever i'm going to be using it i will be um putting water in it up to the top probably about uh about three four inches below the top right so therefore it will have probably about 28 uh, uh 27 gallon on each side right i plan to keep uh probably angels in one side at one side and live bearing uh, fish i'm not sure if it's guppy or koi so tail but something really look beautiful because that will be the first aquarium that anybody actually see um when they actually come to my space in which i keep fish so that aquarium should look astounding all right so the other aquariums those aquariums will be done timely and you will see uh what you see i it's hope that you will enjoy uh, the upcoming series as to um, you know how I put my stuff in play. Uh, this is really here for another fish keep in Jamaica. Is hope that you will you know you have subscribe and if you have not yet subscribed, is hope that you will. Right. Another point to note: uh, in the near future, in a few weeks, I'll be actually consuming one of my tilapia, in which I've actually bred from very small. So you should tune in for that too. Um, I, in which I'm going to be catching and cooking and consuming that tilapia. I'm not sure if I'm going to be roasting it as yet or I'm going to be frying it as yet. But one of the two, but I shall consume it. And I'm thinking about actually doing the same thing to my 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 my, my misbehaving oyster fish. I am not too sure. I might do a poll on that one. Um, so uh, probably you can share with me whether or not you think I should actually consume these two fish make a good belly food they'll be with forever right cool i know that some persons might figure that this is really really distasteful but um if you have been watching uh my shares you'll understand the reason why i have been contemplating this particular task this is really here again for another episode of fish can keep us stopping by stare at me stare at me as i continue the venture in fish keeping in jamaica bless up